Hello calling friends, so today it's Sunday and as usually it's time for our weekly challenge finding color and welcome to season 2. Yeah, we have completed 52 prompts and now we're starting um, a second season so to say <laughs> and I hope it will be successful, fun, interesting for you and we will continue. Um, so, what was uh, our prompt for the first week of season 2? It was Flamingo. I didn't find uh, that much choice of flamingos in my collection, so I thought um, maybe there would be a, a bit, little bit less uh, submitted works. Uh, but no, I've got 72, it's like more than average amount of illustrations. Um, and it's uh, all the works are from different illustrators, uh, even some that uh, you not that often see in our challenges, challenges like um, Kanuka Iguza, Marjorie Sarnat, very beautiful flamingos from her, uh, Fabiana Atanasio, <coughs> but uh, who were <coughs> the leaders <coughs> for this prompt? <coughs> and this time it was, um, I think, Joanna Besford. Turned out um, she has flamingos in two of her books. Uh, then Grazia Salvo and her book uh, Wild Souls, um, Kirby, and again a Circle of Life coloring book. Uh, I think uh, most of illustrations are by these illustrators uh, from different uh, books by these authors. Um, what I have colored? I have colored Alice. By the way, we have uh, a couple of uh, different Alice's for this prompt uh, too in our final gallery. Mine is by Wishang Ong from Starry Night. Uh, same illustration uh, you can find in Coloring Heaven special, uh, Starry Night special. Um, I don't have enough time these days, so I decided to color something more simple. Uh, still, it was really fun. I like her illustrations. Um, they don't take, take much time, but they look really pretty and cute. Uh, so I used markers here as a base and then worked with color pencils, mostly Prisma colors, uh, but there is a little bit of uh, polychromos. Uh, Winsor and Newton for her hair. Um, most of flamingos in our gallery they are pink, uh, but as you can see, mine and a couple more are uh, bright orange, almost red. Uh, so, no typical flamingo on this illustration and not typical roses. If uh, this flamingo I decided to color in pink, then roses in pink or red would be nice. But here I I thought uh, yellow roses would look better. And actually it's rather um, typical color palette, you know, orange, uh, yellow, green, all these colors uh, look nice together. Look at this cute hedgehog. Well, I'm happy with this picture. It was fun. And so now let's have a look at all the submitted illustrations. Uh, the gallery turned out rather romantic, I would say, with all with all that pink. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs>
our gallery of submitted works for the prompt Flamingo. Uh, thank you everyone who joined. And now, as always, let me choose another prompt for the upcoming week. But before that, an announcement. Uh, my flight is exactly on the next Sunday, so obviously there will be no uh, Sunday video. Maybe I will um, film another video and you will see it on Sunday, but uh, no weekly challenge. And uh, so since now on, uh, these challenges uh, will be once in two weeks. Uh, approximately till the end of summer because I'm leaving not for two weeks but for two months on holidays uh, to spend time with my family and um, of course I want some change in my routine <laughs> I want to do some other things and uh, it's summer nice weather you want uh, to spend more time outdoors I think for you it's going to be a nice change too. You will have more time and you can relax a little bit. Uh, so our challenges will be once in two weeks during summer. Um, yeah, what else I want to say that um, I can't take a lot of coloring books with me obviously so I will uh, film uh, those videos in advance here at home uh, where I'm taking out uh, new prompts from these coloring books so I know all the prompts in advance and can choose my illustrations to take with me in advance but for you nothing will change uh, I will insert those videos uh, at the time uh, for uh, videos uh, to come uh, and so now let's uh, find find out a new theme for the upcoming two weeks. So friends, we've got prompt cactus succulent. I like it. I think it's cool prompt. Um, I'm not sure whether there are a lot of cactuses in coloring books, but uh, definitely there are. What I can remember right now, um, circle of life, of course, I, I believe there are cactuses on some landscapes in that book. Um, Anastasia Le Koldreva and her book uh, with dragons. Uh, there are a lot of succulents, I believe. Um, I'm not sure about others, illustrators like Kirby. I believe there should be some cactuses in Kirby's books, but I'm not sure. So it, it it's going to be interesting to look uh, through my books and carefully <laughs> trying to notice some cactuses so I think it's going to be um, a curious search again I'm curious about Hannah Carlson I can't remember any cactuses in her books so <laughs> okay I'm off uh, to look through my books and see you in a second Whew, it took me quite some time to find all these cactuses I can't say that there are a lot of cactuses and coloring books. I was curious, so I kept searching. In the end, I found quite a good number of illustrations with, with cactuses, but I can't say that they are that popular. Anyway, more than enough, and let me show what I have found. A Circle of Life, of course, that's the first book that I remembered about for this prompt and indeed there is this uh, lovely illustration with a lot of cactuses I really love it actually I love all the pictures for this prompt and I wish I had more time for this prompt another book by same 
uh, artist Milpomeni nature mandalas and there's um, a nice mandala with cactuses and succulents really love it rather simple example a Kirby of course I don't have all of his books and uh, among uh, those that I have only in one I was able to find cactuses woods within woods and this is it very interesting beautiful picture I have seen a lot of versions of this illustration in color uh, then coloring collection coloring heaven collection costume illustrations by Fabiana Terre and we have a Mexican girl here with a small cactus on the background love this picture too then Anastasia Elikolderve and those dragons that also I remembered straight away uh, I have a coloring heaven version dragons in nature and I really love this illustration a lot of cactuses of different shape different design I would say <laughs> And very cute dragon and another illustration illustration by Anastasia <laughs> from Mysteria we have this lovely portrait and her hair is decorated with some succulents then a very simple illustration but uh, I find it rather cute uh, the name of the book is the magical unicorn society and uh, we have this page here it's very simple and kind of childish but I really love it so cute and a lot of cactuses and then only two PDF printed illustrations I found uh, this one by Sherry Lafond really love it a traveler and we have cactus here and another one by Digital Morning from Etsy as well um, this nice portrait very summery I love it too uh, so quite a nice choice of illustrations and some books are uh, quite popular quite known many people have them so I I think there will be no problem and I will get the usual amount of submitted works especially now everyone you have two weeks for coloring and so that was all for today um, for this challenge next time hopefully we'll see each other uh, in Belarus I mean my video will be filmed there uh, so wish me a safe journey <laughs> and see you on the other side bye